Here we're going to go over looking at the distal biceps tendon. Here we are looking in an anterior sagittal plane. We can see the biceps tendon overlying the brachialis muscle. You can appreciate also the thick layer of hyaline cartilage over the capitis. We're just going to try to follow that tendon distally. So we're at 1846. You can see that. And this is your typical anterior approach where it could be challenging to get a whole view of the biceps tendon as it dives deep as it inserts on the radial tuberosity. And then you get challenged with anisotropy to actually see that distal biceps tendon, which you can see here. Here we're actually doing a medial approach with the elbow bent only to about 30 degrees. You can see the brachial artery and underneath that is your biceps tendon, which you can see here inserting on the radial tuberosity. And again, you really have to heel toe your ultrasound probe when you do these maneuvers in order to get that view of the biceps tendon inserting on the radial tuberosity. Again, here you can see the biceps tendon inserting on the radial tuberosity. Also of note, in a axial oblique plane, you can see the pronated teres muscle, flexor carpi radialis, and palmaris longus muscles. The well, right side of the screen is proximal. We're at 1853. Just kind of pronate and supinate. Here we're doing a lateral approach, and we pronate and supinate the forearm to get a good look at the radial head and the supernatal muscle and then you can see coming across on the bottom of the screen is the biceps tendon inserting on the radial tuberosity and also you can appreciate the muscle layers the large muscle taking up most of the screen is your brachioradialis muscle then you have your extensor carpi radialis longus muscle and you have your supernatal muscle covering the proximal radius